welcome back just to let you know that i have kept all the source code on github and the github link has been published on my earlier video so just have a look at the code you can enhance that code or you can add on github itself so now in this session we are going to look into reusable functions dot java reusable functions is called whenever the driver script reads from the excel file and uh, triggers the uh, respective uh, function in, and uh, and then the control is transferred to reusable functions so what all reusable functions i have added i have added fetch data from excel reusable function which reads from excel i have used the hssf row uh, from poi jar hssf row hssf workbook and hssf sheet and what i am doing here is i am first fetching the keyword file path from the property file i will show you the property file how it looks like uh, it's in just give me a second uh, okay think resources okay. config dot property Let's have a look at this property file. So, uh, what are we reading over here? We are reading the keyword file path. So, what does the keyword file path contain? It contains the path to the Excel file, keyword dot xls. This is the one. And then, uh, once it fetches the property from the keyword file path, it it is in. Uh, it is giving the key and it is fetching the value so this value gets into the path variable then i am outputting the path variable over here and then i am creating a new file object called excel where i am passing the path to the excel file then i am creating a file input stream object called file and i am passing the excel the file object to the file input stream and then i am creating a new workbook HSSF workbook object by passing the file um, file input stream object to the HSSF workbook constructor. Then I am creating a HSSF sheet object by invoking the get sheet function of the uh, workbook object WB, and then I am passing the sheet name to the uh, to this function get sheet. After that, I am creating the row num variable where row num will have the uh, uh, row numbers in the worksheet ws and then i am creating the column number where column number will take the first row and get the last cell number from that first row so in that way we will get the columns then i am creating a string array called data and i am uh, uh, passing the row num and column num as indexes then i am uh, creating a for loop over here where i am iterating through the row num and then i have a uh, two for loops one inside another where i am uh, i am using this for row and column then i am going to the hssf cell creating a cell uh, object from that and then i am uh, getting the cell value from the hssf row object then i am trans transforming the cell uh, parameter uh, variable value i am doing a two string and i am passing that value to a new variable called value and i am putting that value uh, into this data two dimensional array string array so that's all in this function this is included in the code on github and then finally i am returning this data so that's about it so if you have a look the return type of this function is string double uh, two dimensional array string array so that's the reason i am returning a data so next function is launch appl this is a simple function and it is taking the it is fetching the property of chrome driver 
and it is also fetching the path so i am doing a set property as all of you might be knowing in order to use chrome we have to first set the property and then only we can uh, instantiate a new driver and then um, we can get the url so everything is coming from the either from the property file or from the keyword dot xls file then there is a fill text uh, which i am using to fill the search text in google and here i am finding the value through xpath so this xpath is also coming from the keyword file and then i am doing a fetch property the fetch property function that we saw earlier i am getting the config dot properties over here creating a new file input stream object and then i am doing a prop dot load prop is a properties object which is created over here and i am doing a prop dot load and i am passing that uh, input stream object file input stream object to uh, the property load function and here i am doing a catch and then i am returning the value by passing the key so that's all in this reusable function in the next session we will run this framework and see how the output is uh, i have not created any report in this uh, session for this uh, framework uh, we will do the reporting in test ng since in test ng reporting is very good and we can use the inbuilt reporting features rather than creating a separate class for reporting purpose thank you